Welcome back, truest of the true believers. Elite Legend is back at you with another Marvel Legends review. Today we're taking a look at a build a figure wave. And no, it's not the Joe Fix a build a figure wave that I got lost in the corn maze looking for. We are looking at something else. Without further ado, let's take a look at this brand new Marvel Legends build a figure wave. <laughs> All right, so we see, without any further ado, we have the brand new Marvel Legends Venom Pool Wave. I'm not going to waste any of your time by looking at each figure in the box. We're taking a look at them right now. We are getting straight to action. Without further ado, we are taking a look at one of the figures I was most excited for. We have Midnight Suns era Morbius. We have a modern Carnage from the Absolute Carnage run, which I know absolutely nothing about. We have a figure that I picked up just for the Build-A-Figure wave, Miles Morales. We have Gwenum Bitch, whatever her name is. It doesn't really matter what her name is. I got her for the Build-A-Figure piece. And we have a Sony-verse Venom figure. He's not staying as Venom in my collection. I have other plans for him later on down the road. And we have one of the figures that I was most excited about. We have Phage, who made his debut in the Marvel Universe back in the spring of 1993 during the Lethal Protector comic book run and speaking of the lethal protector run we have issue number four here in which phage made his first appearance speaking of the lethal protector run we have issue number one right here we're going to have a whole lot of venom a whole lot of carnage in this video um, we're also going to be taking a closer look at some of the figures in this wave that i'm excited about not these two um, let's go ahead and get straight to a closer look at some of the figures that Elite Legend was most interested in. So when this wave was announced, the figure that I was most excited about was Morbius. I wanted a 90s era of Morbius. This figure um, fits the bill. This is actually Morbius from 1992 when he teamed up with a couple of Ghost Riders and Blade to become um, part of the Midnight Suns. Here we see him next to Hasbro's Absorbing Man wave first appearance Morbius. The reason why we're taking a look at the Min on Box one is because it appears that my loose one has flown off to feed. Live out in the country, so I feel sorry for some of the livestock out in the area. As good old JR would say, it is absolute carnage. And here we see none other than absolute carnage with the additional head. Here we see the very first Marvel Legend carnage figure from the Ultimate Green Goblin Build-A-Figure Wave. Here we see from the Kingpin Build-A-Figure Wave, the Red Goblin, which is actually Cletus Cassidy. Now we see a Cletus Cassidy head on a kit bash that everybody has done. We see another Carnage, the second Marvel Legend Carnage from the Ultimate, from the Monster Venom Build-A-Figure Wave. So we see a whole lot of Carnage on this table. And every time they release a Carnage, it is a little bit better than the last. One of the figures that's missing here is the... Ben Riley Spider Carnage. I sold that figure a long time ago, never cared for it. and But now I kind of think that I would like to have it back in my collection. But this was a figure that I was excited to get. And it's definitely going to be an upgrade. As you can see, he has sculpted on details. This is removable. The hands are actually... Um, you can take them off and one of the things that I wanted to see initially when I got this was to see if this axe would fit and it looks like it is going to fit. It is not an exact match in color. However, you can see that it does fit nicely. So this is actually going to be the brand new uh, main carnage in my collection. This is one of the two figures that I was most excited about when this wave was announced. Brand new character in the collection. Elite Legend is always happy to have that. He also helps us get a little bit closer to rounding out a team. He is one of the five children of Venom from that Lethal Protector run. As you recall, Carnage forced Venom to give birth to five offsprings. And let's take a look at them right now. All right, that was false advertising. I said we were going to take a look at his five offspring. However, there's only three of them. So Hasbro, get on it. Because I will be in agony if we do not receive a completed team of Venom's children. And I will riot if we do not get a completed team of Venom's children. Now, usually, when you're taking a look at an action figure review or at a, at a build a figure wave review, you're seeing the build a figure last. I'm not impressed with this build a figure. 
well, don't get me wrong. It is an impressive looking builder figure. However, I am experiencing severe Deadpool fatigue, and I know a lot of you guys are. There's a lot of people that are excited about this figure, so I don't want to discredit it. I don't want to undercut it. However, for my particular taste, I'm not a fan of modern comics. I'm not a fan of characters that do not have a uh, rich history um, in the comic books. Uh, Venom is a little too new for the Elite Legend, um, but I can see that there's going to be people that are excited about this figure. First off, you can see that the sculpting is incredible. Very bulky figure. Comes with a set of gripping hands. It comes with some open hands. Comes with his little swords. This thing, I was not able to get it on there. I'm selling this figure, so I don't want to fill it around too much with this. Um, but you can see that this is um, a monstrous um, symbiote venom pool. This is an outfit that is most similar to what he's wearing. Um, the only difference I see is in the boots. This is the Juggernaut Wave uh, Deadpool. I don't know where the swords are or the guns or the knives are. Um, guns, two guns it looks like. However, um, here you see Venom with his little Nerf gun. No Nerf gun for the Venom pool. Just comes with a couple of swords. It is a big, bulky figure. You will get your money's worth if you're purchasing this figure from the Elite Legend. Um... He's just not my cup of tea. I was not excited to get this figure. I know it's a Venom wave, so you're going to get a Venom figure. Uh, I'm not an MCU guy. I'm not a Sony-verse guy. But uh, I am a Sculpt guy. I am a Venom guy. Uh, this figure will not remain as Venom. I have something planned for him, and it's not what you guys are thinking. Um, but the sculpt on this guy is incredible. The size of this guy is incredible. Reminds me of the Diamond Select Venom that had a beautiful, beautiful sculpt. However, um, it had his limitations in, in articulation. If you guys remember, very limited waist articulation. Um, the diaphragm, um, he does not have hinges on his wrists. No ankle rockers. Uh, just very awkward, but you cannot beat this sculpt for $24.00. Or whatever it was, I don't know if it, I don't remember if it was 19 or 24. You cannot beat this. Comes with all these accessories. Comes with additional heads, additional hands. Um, comes with this Eddie Brock head right here. This is a spectacular figure um, for the price point. So when I saw this, I, I thought, man, this is going to be a perfect figure when. Well, a perfect body for this particular um, version of Venom when they get around to it. And you know they're going to get around to it. One of the things that I wanted to do was see if other heads can fit it. And you can see here, this head would look tremendous on here, um, but you would have to dremel it out. Here we see the most recent Venom in my collection. This is not the Monster Venom. This is the Eddie Brock Deluxe Venom. So let's take a look at a side-by-side -side of these two. Here we see the OG Venom. This will always have a special place in my heart. Love Toy Biz. Now we see a couple. Um, there was two head sculpts on the Absorbing Man Build-A-Figure Wave, so I have both of them right here. And as you can see, the body on these two. The Hyperion Mold, I'm not one of the one of the haters of the mold. However, for Venom, I don't think that's the right body. This is perfect, and the Omega Red body is another great mold for uh, a classic Venom. Here we see the Monster Venom figure. This is with the Eddie Brock head. Since we are on the subject of Venom, let's take a look at my favorite Venom comic book cover. We are looking from way back in 1989, issue number 316 of The Amazing Spider-Man. And coincidentally, 316 is Elite Legend's birthday. This was also a birthday gift a few years ago from the beautiful, amazing Pop Mama. So I want to thank Pop Mama for that. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Drop a comment. What's your favorite figure from this wave? Are you excited about the brand new Venom figure? Are you excited about the Venom pool build a figure? 
Are you interested in purchasing the Miles Morales or the Gwenum Pool? Are you interested in purchasing this um, bad boy right here? If you are interested in Elite Legends other videos, go ahead, take a look at my playlist with other Marvel Legends reviews. I also do G.I. Joe Classified and WWE Elite, even a sprinkling of Funko Pops. My most recent video featured Dr. Doom from the Fantastic Four Retro Wave. Here you see Dr. Doom chilling with the other baddies from the Fantastic Four. And until next time, make mine Marvel.